All right, so we're checking out the only game where you get to make a fortune writing erotic Harry Potter fan fiction. It's Drafting Tales. New novel, damn it. I want like a really trendy name, like something you'd see in Starbucks. I'm gonna make it Tucker, but I'm gonna spell it cool. See, when you spell it in a way that people don't know, you make better books that way. Tucker Big Turkey. Here we go. Tutorial. <laughs> In Drafting Tales, you play a young man who was cast out by his family after they repeatedly told him to get a job and he said that he would become a writer. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a very clean apartment for a writer. Oh god, is this randomized? We start with journalism and business and electronics. This is like the most uninspired stuff to write about. I like we need a better title to get people engrossed in this stuff. I appreciate that they give you as many words as you need to describe your title. 13 days to write a thousand words. Mother of God, it's like someone who takes their term paper seriously. <laughs> I looked at some of the things you could buy in the game. Maxing out your credit card. It teaches you the shopping topic. <laughs> I never heard of dystopian just mentioned as anti-utopia. So it's like the anti-apocalypse just normal today. Whatever, I don't know what any of this does. I'm buying it all. Holy Jesus Christ. Something I just realized is that the sound effects in this game are at about 400. Comedy and wizards are all the way at the top. All right. Oh my God. Harry Potter novels work. I feel like this entire thing is a sham because there's no eroticism. There's just air quotes, romance. I, I do want to know how to max out my credit card, though. We're doing this old school, not using a computer or anything. We're legit writing it. It costs $23 to get feedback. I'm paying people for my feedback. Is it going to give me legitimate feedback or are they just going to tell me what I want to hear? You made the right choice not to waste your time on conflict. I, I didn't make the right choice. I just didn't even have a choice. All right, we got all kinds of stuff we can- Never mind, we don't at all. Where the hell did the extra- Oh, wait a minute. You have to read books to learn how to write them. Peeny Leathers. <laughs> this, these authors are way better than me. Alden Macbeth. Sweet Jesus. Oh, you can just write for big labels to make money. How realistic. Giving up your hopes and dreams just so that you can eat tomorrow. We're doing this. Oh, you can't even change the title when you're writing for a scumbag. Unfortunately, no publisher is interested in cell phones that improve your sex life. Possible reasons, low quality. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, all right, yeah, you got me. God, when this guy writes on the paper, it's like to make this sound effect, the developer just took a pen and just grinded it against a book from like two centimeters away from the microphone. I like how writing for labels slowly drains your will to live. This is your inspiration to actually write. Dear Tucker Big Turkey, your recent works are impressive. This is just like the scam emails that you get where it's like, I love what you've done with your work and I support you. No, you haven't. Okay, you haven't read my work because I couldn't even get my sex cell phones piece published like by anyone i'm reading to learn how to shop what am i reading to do this is this is this just like one of those teen vogue magazines or is this like shopping for dummies why would you need to know how to max out your credit card in fact how could someone write a book about this there's a new item available to buy encyclopedia no one has bought an encyclopedia in 20 years <laughs> i'm gonna buy this because no one else will the telemarketer it's gonna blow his mind. He's gonna go to his boss and be like, I did it. They probably have a bet. Probably gonna win like $200. Hey, shopping topic learned. Give me that friggin', uh, where is it at? Where's the encyclopedia at? Absolutely. Oh, first you gotta spend your XPs. God, it's like an MMO. Oh, this is where you get the rest of the stuff. Hey, romance. Absolutely. Now can I buy this? Yes. I told you, I just helped some guy win a bunch of money from his boss. Never. As seen on TV, mail order, what, what year is this? Oh, it's year one, I'm sorry. Of course, this is what the beginning of the world looked like. People still had post-it notes back then. I guess let's write about shopping. Your wife won't wear what you buy her 
anyway. I'm afraid to get feedback. It didn't work at all last time. I spent $23 for people to tell me I did a great job and then for every publishing label to go to, to tell me to go to hell. Conflict isn't important for this genre. You guys have never been to Black Friday, have you? I can't believe it. Someone wants to publish this. The rate and post, absolutely. All right, so we need something business-wise for journalism. So there we go, fill in the dots. The worst part about this is there's no computer, so we can't just do our research on YouTube. Reviews for your article, your wife won't wear what you buy her anyway, just came in. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Hey, three stars. Okay, real quick, this is a game about writing, right? Okay, and this is the Chronicle, okay? Right here, friggin' plagiarism. Look at this. Both of these reviewers have exactly the same article. I should report these people. See this? Talk about Fortnite stuff and people want to publish it immediately. Okay, we, we learned anti-utopian or whatever the hell it called it. A world without Starbucks. The worst kind of dystopia I can possibly think of. Controversial topic review time. What do they say? Okay. I like that it says this is the author's best work so far when I've only published two different things. I want to learn how to write short stories. So we've got to learn thriller. I just noticed this is an electronics thriller. What the hell even would this be? It's like short circuit. Isn't that more like electronics comedy? What was the one where all the toasters and stuff got hit by alien ray beams and started killing people? Remember that where the soda machine was beating the hell out of the guy until he died from it? You can now write short stories, which means just more words to cause people pain with. Short story, hell yes. Romance, absolutely. Oh, uh, we need wizards for the topic. Harry Potter, except everyone is on antidepressants. Here we go. I love how he legitimately has to stop every once in a while because he has no idea what to write. It's real writer's block, digitally shown to you. I'm feeling very depressed. So it's time to read about, is this the no carbohydrate press? What the hell? I realized why there's no publishers. I did Harry Potter. You know what? I did that because I didn't want to get copyrighted. See, I, that's not a typo. I meant to do that. You better not forget her birthday. Here we go. Romance shopping, baby. It sounds less like writing and more like someone trying to claw their way out of a cardboard box. Now that I see the amount of encyclopedias I have, I realize that I'm single-handedly putting that one telemarketer's kids through college. Also, what are these? At first I thought it almost looked like something out of a board game, but now it kind of looks like I'm spending all of my money on scratch-off tickets. It's a thousand dollars rent to stay in this friggin' place, and this room ain't that big, so I know the money's going somewhere. I don't, maybe it's alcoholism or something. New book is available. <laughs> Health for the insured? Oh my god, that's awful. You didn't work at all on the characters, didn't you? You didn't work at all on your grammar, Debbie. Health for the insured. Give it to me. You have to buy your way up from writing on paper. Oh my god, I need this. Give me that typewriter. All right, we're doing a, a health journalism thing now. I've got a typewriter and I'm still, I'm still just, oh good, okay. I wasn't, at first I thought I was gonna use the damn pen and paper still. Unlocks nonfiction. Ooh, I need self-help in order to get it. <laughs> got a typewriter? Still hand writes his letters. Good for him. What is it, self-help? Sure. This is health and self-help. There is so many titles I could think of here, but I'm not allowed to put anything in. My God, someone wants to publish us. What? Three and a half stars for Starbucks is good for you, y'all. We're making it. Haven't seen the journalism health theme for a while. There's no internet in this game yet, is there? The internet hasn't been invented yet, has it? I think the real question is who lives below us? Is this my mom or something? Because like, we've never seen who's there. I have to read about prison in order to get some of my inspiration back to finish up this health self-help friggin' 40,000 word article or whatever the hell it is. Topic learned, prison. I'm so happy. I gotta start writing romance fanfics quick because we're running out of money. Oh, that's the money. I get to live for a couple more months. Oh, you can buy a vacation. Wait, is it actually a vacation or is it just a poster of a vacation? I get the feeling I'm gonna click on this and it's just going to be a poster of things I can't do. Nope, I was wrong. It's a legit vacation. Okay, game, very good. I like how bitter and jaded I am that I didn't even think it would be a real vacation. Prison romance, hell yes. Harry Thotter. 
someone had to have done this right. It's so obvious that someone made a book called this, right? It had to happen. Oh, hey, prison's actually at the top of the list. Hey. I don't know if there's an audience for romance in prison. God damn it. Ernest goes to solitary. Dystopian thriller. Buy this or you will die in your sleep. We seriously need to sell something. What do you know? No publisher is interested in Ernest Goes to Solitary. Self-help prison. <laughs> Don't start a prank YouTube channel. That's the best way to not go to prison. Okay, self-help in prison isn't a good combination. Let's try journalism in prison. Don't start a child abuse YouTube channel. That's the other way to not go to prison. I don't know if there's an audience for journalism prison. <sighs> All about drugs. You know what? Sure. I'm gonna need this. Okay. If this isn't something that goes together, I'm gonna flip my table. Just do it. I can't believe it. The Wall Trail Journal wants to publish my drugs thing. All I called it was drugs news because I was so downtrodden from getting rejected by publishers for the last 30 books. Drink more vodka. There. I had another one called Electronics News and people want to publish this. What the hell? The reviews for drugs news just came in. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic because I didn't put any effort into it. Oh, what do you know? Three and a half stars. Highly recommended. Of course it is. Journalism and drugs is a great combination. Of anything in drugs is a great combination. Four stars for electronics news. If I write a real title, I can't get anything done. But if I just use the, the pre-generated title, four stars. Romance health. Uh, get low when you squat. See, it sounds like sensual, but realistically, it's it's actually really good advice for when you're for when you're performing squats. Oh, drink more vodka. Please tell me this thing got rave reviews. Okay, I'll take three and a half stars. Remember when I talked about uh, plagiarism? We got three people now copying and pasting. Wilda, thank you for being different. No audience for romance and health. Freaking smells like lies. I call this one Saving Private Ryan. It's gonna be like an animated short story almost, like a caricature thing and the private is gonna be a slice of bread, but he's going to be allergic to gluten, so it's gonna be this weird existential thing he's got going on. I am damn near out of money to live. <laughs> Just like being a real writer. Damn, Saving Private Ryan making the big bucks. Possibly one of the dumbest ideas I've ever had for a short story, and I get four stars out of it. I can have an agent now? Okay. Harry Potter, but everyone is replaced with war criminals. Damn it. Ah, oh, whatever, it's good enough. Author declares bankruptcy. Little known author, Tucker Big Turkey, declares bankruptcy after struggling for three years. <laughs> that is the most realistic writing simulative tycoon experience I think I've ever had in my life. You write forever, Everyone rejects you, and then eventually you don't have a home anymore. Hey, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Drafting Tales. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.